17 News is your local election headquarters, and tonight we feature two candidates running to represent the Kern River Valley in the state assembly. 17's Aton Wallace caught up with a Republican and Democrat facing off for the 26th Assembly District, and he joins us now with their message for voters. Aton. Tammy, good evening. Incumbent Republican Devin Mathis is facing a challenge from Democrat Drew Phelps, and tonight both men share why they believe they deserve your vote. Republican Devin Mathis of Visalia has represented the 26th Assembly District since 2014. The district includes Visalia, Tulare, and Porterville, Bishop to the North, and Death Valley, all the way to the Nevada-California line. Also part of the district, a major portion of the Golden Empire, the Kern River Valley. Now, Mathis is asking voters who live there to give him a fourth term. My issue priorities have always been putting people first, putting you, your families, you know, I, I know what it's like to sit at that kitchen table and figure out the bills, to figure out, to make ends meet. I, I've been there, I have children, and I know that struggle. And so whenever I cast votes in Sacramento, for, it's for you and your families. An Iraq war veteran, Mathis serves on the governor's military council and is the vice chair of the Human Services Committee. We do a lot of good work here in the Kern River Valley listening to the issues, uh, issues about water, about agriculture, about uh, public services, making sure that the government actually works for you. Running against him, Democrat Drew Phelps. We're lacking, unfortunately, from so many of our government officials. We caught up with Phelps as he spoke to the Kern River Valley Valley Democratic Club. If elected, he says he'll hold similar meetings with constituents from both sides of the aisle. I'm running to be a, a louder voice, uh, have more of a seat at the table in Sacramento. I've spent time working in Sacramento, actually on, on the other side of the aisle for Republicans, even though I've been a lifelong Democrat. And that experience really showed me that you can be effective as someone from a rural area. Uh, you just have to have the right approach to it. The 26-year-old is a senior policy analyst for the local Granville home builder and is a fourth generation Central Valley resident. His top issue priorities include access to broadband internet and health care. Particularly here in the Kern River Valley, you do have folks who have, uh, whether it's just lacking access to care, whether it's homeless folks who need more access to mental health care, uh, then that in itself is, is very important. And folks in this area shouldn't have to drive down the hill, down to Bakersfield, almost an hour just to receive that sort of care. And so that's really important, is just bringing the funding here to bolster those programs that are already in existence, but could really use that extra stream. Phelps argues his opponent has not adequately represented this area. Our district has just been ignored for far too long. The incumbent right now, he has been focused far too much on personal issues, items that don't matter as much in the district. And the bottom line is, uh, he's just been very ineffective in general. Mathis disagreed. It's election season, and really, haters are going to hate. I have a proven record of getting things done and of being a phone call away. And if you all ever have any questions, call me. Call my personal cell phone, 559 202-5692. I'm here for you. Now today marks 57 days until General Election Day, November 3rd. In studio, Aton Wallace, 17 News. Aton, thanks.